Hey everybody, Jonathan Rose, and today I'm going to be talking about interest rate futures. This video may be a little bit advanced if you're not familiar with how to look at a curve, how to trade the entire yield curve. So for you, if it's too advanced but you're still interested in the topic, on the YouTube there's a playlist that's all about interest rate futures. Go through some videos. And then I also have my bond bootcamp course that will teach you exactly how this trade works. Let's get into it. In front of you, I have a little proprietary indicator that was designed for us. And all this is showing is a white line, a green line, and a blue line, right? Obviously. The white line is the 10 year goes out to the UB. So the 10 year future contract all the way out to the ultra future contract. The ultra future contract is 30 year plus. So the white line is looking at the difference between 30 year plus and 10 year. So it's like 20 years of duration of time. That's what the white line is. The green line and the blue line are parts of the white line. So the blue line is ZN to ZB. That's 10 year out to the 30 year future, but it's really an 18 year. So this is 10 year to 18 year. So look at it as like eight years of duration. The white's got 20. The first eight years of this 20 are represented by the blue line. The second part of this white line is gonna be the green line. This is 12 years. The green line is ZB 30 year against the ultra. So the 30 year future, again, it's more like an 18 year bond, 30 year. So there's 12 years of duration, eight years of duration, eight plus 12, 20. Okay, so think of it as the white line comprises the green line and the blue line. So if this white line goes way, way, way up higher, these two inevitably have to follow because again, green plus blue equals white. It's a part of it. Going back to the beginning of October, that's when I had all these different spreads start at the same time. Here we can see the white and the green line getting really, really strong, but the blue line isn't participating. So what's going on is the difference between 10s and 30s is rallying like crazy. The difference between 18s and 30s is rallying like crazy. But the beginning of the spread, the difference between 10s and 18s is trading down. It's actually going offered. Now, why would this go offered? Why would this sell off when these are rallying? Well, these are future contracts. They're driven by pure supply and demand. The market's not always right. Participants in the market need to make bids and offers, and they're willing to transact when orders come in. So occasionally, it knocks things out of line. And what traders do is they look for opportunity where relationships have been broken down and they do trades to try to get those trades back in line. So if we follow the behavior, it continued to be really, really strong. What this is, it's a steepener. It's the difference between 10 year and 30 year getting wider and wider and wider apart. So let's talk actionable. What's a trader to do? How do you trade these different relationships? Well, for one, Trading interest rate futures, this is absolutely the correct way to trade interest rate futures. If you're just trading the 10 year, just trading the 30 year, you're at a very, very big disadvantage to those that could do this kind of analysis. Because this kind of analysis will show us what's expensive, what's inexpensive. Do we wanna be long the 10 year? Do we wanna be long the ZB? Do we wanna be short the 10 year or short the ZB? For instance, right here, we know definitively 10s to 30s is getting very, very, very steep. Going along for the ride is 18s to 30, but 10s to 18 didn't get the memo, doesn't really care. So what's gonna happen? Well, inevitably, the blue line is part of that white line. So as that white line goes higher and higher and higher, that blue line is getting pulled with it, without a doubt. Right now, the back end of the yield curve has gotten very, 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 very steep. Notice that it's made this move at the same time the equities have come off so hard. 
So what do we expect going forward? Well, in my opinion, the market's already shown its hand. We already know that if the equities get killed, the yield curve is going to get very, very, very steep. So we'd want to put steepeners. If that's the case and the, and the equity markets sell off big time, the knob probably really freaking cheap. But it seems like equities are going to bounce a little bit. So if equities rally like they're doing a little bit today, notice it's going to start selling off. So if equities rally, this back end of the yield curve should flatten and come all the way back down. And if that occurs, if equities rally, the trade to be in is a flattener. Right now, you may want to get short this ZB against UB. Now this is gonna get a little bit even more advanced, mostly for my advanced bond students. What I have here is the ZN butterfly, which is ZN, and I'm looking at the ZN relative to its neighbors. So if the ZN is the 10 year, it's like an iron condor in options trading. ZN is the belly, and the wings are the five year, and the wings are the bond. So I'm looking at the tens relative to the fives and the bonds, and the white line is the bond fly. We're looking at the 30 year relative to the tens and relative to the UB. Beginning of the month, you can see the disconnect between the ZB fly and the 10 year fly. At this time, if you wanted to get short a futures contract thinking rates were gonna go rise, dude, don't get short 10 year. 10 year is very, very inexpensive. That's when you wanna get short the bond. Bonds have come off huge. 10 year has rallied huge. So now, advanced bond students, when you're looking for trades, instead of doing the bond fly like we've been doing, now you might want to get short the 10 year and maybe even get long the bond fly. Where would you do that? Well, I'm not dying to sell knobs. Knobs don't look very expensive. If anything, a curve rolls over, I would think the bub, but I would only want to sell bubs if the ZB fly continues to rally. So if the ZB fly continues to rally and we want to look to get a flattener on, that's when we want to look to bubs. But I wouldn't add bubs right here. I would patiently wait. If it shows you a little bit better levels, that's a trade opportunity. If you're watching, getting a little overwhelmed, no problem. Again, in the comments below, I'm going to leave, or in the description, I'm going to leave a 45 minute webinar on this bond trade so you can watch that learn more about it and if you want to move forward with bond bootcamp love to have you thanks for watching guys jonathan rose active day trader